Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. Something is wrong with me. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt empty, incomplete, like a part of me is missing. This hollow feeling has dominated my life. I've never been able to feel anything else. My world has always been cold, dark, silent. My mother was exactly like me when she was a child. But when she met my father, everything changed for her. He brought warmth and color and life into her world. He made her complete. She told me that one day, I'd meet someone special, just like she did. Someone who would cure me, fix me, save me. I've spent my entire life waiting for that day, dreaming of the moment when I'd meet the person who would complete me. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. It was my only reason to live. And then, one day, I found him. When I met him, something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. I felt warm. I felt complete. I felt alive. 
He is my escape from the cold, gray, empty world I've been trapped in. He is the one I've been waiting for, the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But someone is trying to take him from me. She wants him, but not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me. I have to stop her, even if it means hurting her, even if it means killing her. There is nothing I won't do for him. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. Hey. Do I know you? I saw you stalking an upperclassman today. I'm sorry, there must be some misunderstanding. There's no need to play dumb with me. I'm trying to help you. Want some information about the girl he was with? I'm listening. Her name is Osana Najimi. She has a crush on him. She's planning to confess to him next Friday, underneath the cherry tree behind the school. There's a myth that if you confess your love to someone underneath that tree, the person you confess to can't refuse. Why are you telling me this? I would be happy if something bad happened to Osana-chan. I think you might be the right person to give her what she deserves. Who are you? Have you ever heard of Infochan? An urban legend about a girl who hacks people and sells their dirty secrets to the highest bidder. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I sell a lot more than just blackmail. Are you trying to tell me that you're Infojan? Do you really expect me to believe that? I've installed an app on your phone. Take a look. How did you do that? That's not something you need to be concerned with. If you do a few small favors for me, I can offer a wide variety of services that should help you eliminate Osanachan. Everything you need to know is in that app. And what if I don't want anything to do with you? If you're not interested in my services, I won't take it personally. Feel free to ignore me, but don't ignore Osana-chan. You have one week until she confesses to your precious senpai. Make her suffer.
again. It's just like back in middle school. I'm sorry. I'm not your personal alarm clock, you know. You can't rely on me to wake you up every day. I'm sorry. If it bothers you so much, maybe we should stop walking to school together. No, that... That's not what I... Just forget it, okay? Anyway, I want you to meet me on the school rooftop at lunchtime. Got it? Huh? Why? Stop being so difficult! Just be there, alright? And don't keep me waiting. Okay, okay. I'll be there. Good! You've got this! You've got this! Keep it up! Do your best! You've got this! You've got this! Keep it up! I know you can do this! You've got this! Um, Osana, don't you think you were a bit... harsh? I know. I feel so bad about it. But... I didn't do it on purpose, it just... happened. Every time I think he's about to realize how I feel about him, I get afraid he'll reject me. It makes me feel so scared. I, I start saying stuff to make him think I don't like him. Why do I have to be this way? Why can't I just be honest with him? Don't beat yourself up over it, Osana. It'll be okay. Everything is going to work out fine. I sure hope so. idea. Maybe I shouldn't do this. What if he doesn't like it? Don't worry, I'm sure he's going to love it. I hope so. I just... I just want to make him happy. You will. Come on, let's go hang out. Tell me more about the boy you like. What made you fall for him? It's funny, actually. He's not my type at all. I just... slowly well, we developed feelings for him over time. I didn't even realize it was happening. So, what is your type, then? You mentioned that you like guys with tans, but what else do you like to see in a guy? Well, I think it's kinda hot when a guy has a ponytail. I think boys with glasses are super cute. And if a guy has piercings... <sighs> I just melt! Um, don't get me wrong. Looks aren't everything. For example, I can't get along with someone if they're dumb as a rock. So really the most important thing is intelligence. Oh, and he has to love cats. If he's a dog person, we're completely incompatible. Hello? Ugh, I told you to stop calling me, you creep! How many times do I have to say it? I'm not interested! If you don't stop bothering me, I'm gonna call the cops and... Wait, wait, what? Are you serious? Okay, okay, fine. I, I won't call the police. 
Look, this is a bad time for me. We'll talk about this later. Just don't do anything rash, okay? Why did something like this have to happen? Osana, is everything okay? Well, no. But I'm not sure if I should say anything yet. I need some time to think. I might be ready to talk about it when classes are done for the day. Somewhere... private. Maybe... a rooftop? Behind the air vents? Okay. I'll wait until you're ready to talk. Would you like to take a stroll around the school to take your mind off of it? You still haven't joined a club yet. Maybe we can check out the club rooms. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds nice. Sure. Let's do it. What do you think of this club? Everyone in this club seems really nice. And I've always wanted to get better at cooking. Right now, it's kind of my top choice. But I think I should check out the other clubs before I decide. Have any thoughts about this club? Uh, I don't know. The people in this club are kind of... Well... I don't want to sound rude, but they're just not my crowd. What do you think of this club? Ugh. This place gives me the creeps. I'm not even sure why the school allows this club to exist. Next club, please. Have any thoughts about this club? Seriously? Video games? <laughs> really? Who still plays video games after middle school? Like, grow up already! What's your opinion on this club? I guess I don't really have a strong opinion about it either way. I mean, I guess I'd consider it, but it wouldn't really be my first choice, you know? How about this club? Ooh, this club is so cool! Everyone here is so talented! But I can't play any instruments, so I wouldn't really fit in. I think I'd better look for a different club. Would this club suit you? Hmm. Well, it could be fun, but I've never really thought of myself as an artist. I'm sure it's a nice club and all, but I think another club would be a better fit for me. Can you see yourself in this club? Oh, I've heard about these guys. Their club is supposed to be about photography, but they spend all their time just goofing around. No. I'd want to be in a club that takes itself seriously. Do you think you'd enjoy this club? What's with this place anyway? It wasn't here last year. The doors are always locked. But it sounds like there's someone inside. Ugh. It gives me the creeps. Let's go. Are you interested in this club? Uh, oh man. The only place that might scare me more than the occult club. I'm genuinely worried that one of their crazy experiments is going to blow up the school one day. Do 
you want to join this club? You know, I actually think this club looks really fun. But it, it would be really awkward to be the only girl in the club. I guess I'll pass. What do you make of this club? You're... What's wrong joking, with you? Right? I'm going to assume that was a joke. What? Please. Let's get out of here. I don't feel safe around them. What do you want, loser? Who do you think you are? What do you think of this club? Oh, this is another one of my top choices. Everyone here is so friendly, and I've always wanted to try gardening. I'll give it some thought. Well, I'm not ready to decide which club I want to join, but I feel way better after taking a walk with you. Thank you so much for being there for me. It was my pleasure. I'm really glad to hear that you feel better. Come on, let's go. Sana, it's time. You can do this. Okay, I'm here, just like you asked. What's this? It's a bento, stupid! You made me lunch? Don't get the wrong idea! I didn't make it for you! I just... made too much food this morning! So you can have the extras! Oh! Cool! Thanks a lot! Just shut up and eat it! Wow! This is delicious! R really? You... you like it, Senpai? Yeah! It's great! That's right! You should be grateful! But don't expect me to keep giving you free food! And unless you... you want to eat my cooking every day? Hmm? What was that? I, I didn't say anything! D dummy I'm sorry, Osana, but I overheard your phone call earlier today. You sounded really upset. Is something wrong? I... well... yeah. I do have a problem, but I'm not really sure if you'd be able to help me. Please, tell me what's wrong. I'll listen. A few days ago, in Shizuta town, this weird guy approached me and started flirting with me. He was really creepy and gross, and I wasn't interested in him at all. It took forever to make him leave me alone. The next day, I started getting text messages from him, even though I never gave him my phone number. The worst part is, he keeps texting me pictures that he's taken of me. It's like he's just following me around and snapping photos all day. You've got a stalker? Oh my god, that's horrible. You need to tell the police before he does something bad! No! 
I can't do that. He told me that if I go to the police, he'll... He'll... What? What will he do? I... I don't want to tell you, but... But calling the police is not an option. What is it? Is he blackmailing you? Are you hiding some kind of secret? No, it's nothing like that. Osana, I try to avoid talking about this, but I'm actually very strong. If you tell me who is doing this to you, I'll stop them. What? No, I don't want you to get involved. Look, I appreciate your concern, but please, just let me deal with this myself. If you say so, but now I'm really worried. Oh, this? It's a very special book. My sister gave it to me. What's it called? What's it about? If you're really interested, I'd be willing to let you borrow it. But you have to promise to take good care of it. R really You... you'd let me... I mean, of course I'd take good care of it. That's obvious. All right then, I'll let you borrow it. Return it to me when school's over, okay? How did it go, Osana? It actually went... surprisingly well. He let me borrow something. A book. It was a gift from his sister. Wow, really? Way to go! Are you going to read it right away? Nah. I'll wait until lunchtime. I'll read it at the fountain. In the same spot where he spends most of his time. It'll make me feel... closer to him. <laughs> Oh, you. You're such a hopeless romantic. Just make sure to be careful with it. If it's a gift from his sister, it's probably really important to him. Right. I'll take good care of it. special about this book. Here's a good stopping point. Whew, time for a break. Just a quick stretch. Now, where was I? Oh, better get back to class. Hey, Osana. So what'd you think of the book? It was actually way more interesting than I expected. Thanks for letting me borrow it. No problem. You should spend more time with me instead of reading old books. Huh? What was that? I couldn't hear what you said. I, I said, there are better novels than this old book. Anyway, let's get going already. Why do you 
spend so much time in the school plaza? I like the sound of the fountain and the sight of the falling cherry blossoms. I think it's the most soothing place in the whole school. I... I think the most soothing place is next to someone you care about. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. What'd you say? N nothing But doesn't it get boring to spend most of your time sitting in one spot? If there's a nicer spot somewhere in the school, I'd love to see it. Oh, yeah? Challenge accepted. I'll prove that I can find a better spot. Uh, it's not a competition. Don't underestimate me. I'll show you, senpai. You might be taking this a tad too seriously. Oh my god! He blew it! This is so embarrassing! Just kill me! Calm down, Osana! What's wrong? What happened? We were having a perfectly nice conversation, and then I turned it into some stupid competition or something! Ugh, what was I thinking? Please, just relax. I'm sure it's not that bad. Just make the most of things, and I'm sure everything will turn out okay. <sighs> okay, I'll try. Thanks, Raibaru. You always know what to say in times like this. Don't mention it. I'm here for you, okay? Osana? Really? You, you think so? Well, of course! I told you I'd find the best spot in the school, didn't I? You sure did. Uh, maybe we can check it out together sometime? What'd you say? I, I didn't say anything. Come on, let's get out of here already! Do you ever have recurring nightmares? Nightmares? Well, lately I've been having a dream where I'm standing outside of school underneath a tree. And for some reason, I can't move a single muscle. I'm like a statue. I guess I wouldn't really call it a nightmare, just a weird dream. How about you? Sometimes... I have dreams where somebody ties my hair around something really heavy and throws it into the ocean. I get dragged into the water and drown. That sounds pretty scary. You know, I read a book that said our dreams are actually reflections of our subconscious feelings. Maybe your dream means that you subconsciously feel worried that your hair is a hazard. If you cut your hair, maybe you'd stop having the nightmares. No way! It took years for my hair to get this long. I wouldn't cut it because of a scary dream. When do you plan to cut your hair anyway? It's almost touching the ground. I made a promise to myself not to cut it until... a certain idiot stops being stupid and realizes how I feel. Huh? I don't get what you mean. Uh, anyway, if our dreams really do have meaning, 
What does your dream represent? I haven't really figured that out yet. Tonight, right? Uh, I don't know why you had to phrase it like that, but yeah, I'm free tonight. Good. Then you're gonna go see a movie with me. Huh? You mean like a date? Idiot! It's not a date. I was gonna go with my friend, but she had to cancel. You're only coming with me so that her ticket doesn't go to waste. Got it? Well, it's not like I had any plans, so. Good. It's settled then. Meet me here at 5.30 so we can leave in time to see the film. Okay. If you say so. <sighs> that date was some pie. What was that? N nothing He said yes! It's actually happening. I'm going on a date with some pie! Congratulations! See, I told you there was nothing to fear. The last three times I went to a theater to watch a movie, I fell asleep and woke up during the credits. What if it happens again during my date? I die of embarrassment! Hmm, maybe you should take a nap before you go to the theater. Do you think that would help? <gasps> That's a brilliant idea! The school rooftop is really peaceful after cleaning time. I'll take a nap there. Sounds good. I'll watch over you and make sure that nobody disturbs you while you're sleeping. By the way, are you still interested in sunbathing at the pool during lunchtime? Oh, definitely! I'm looking forward to it! I don't want to fall asleep during the film. I'll just take a quick nap. Just gotta set my alarm and done. Shh, she's sleeping. Please try to be quiet. I've been listening to a lot of classic stuff. Beethoven, Mozart, Bach. So a bunch of old dead guys? You've got some pretty strange tastes, Senpai. Oh yeah? What do you listen to? J-pop and J-rock! Obviously! Ah, that's not really my type of music. You just haven't found the right bands yet. I'll put together a playlist for you to listen to at lunchtime. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. 
I'll be waiting on the rooftop. Don't be late. Phew. I feel like I actually made it through a conversation without embarrassing myself for once. I'm happy for you, Osana. Long story short, I'm making a mixtape for Senpai. I'm gonna head to the computer lab and put it together right away. Osana, I thought you were childhood friends with that boy. Shouldn't you already know what type of music he listens to? I already knew what kind of music he listens to, but I asked him anyway, to guide the conversation where I wanted it to go. The important thing is, it worked. I'm happy for you, Osana, but I need to warn you about something. Musume Ronshaku is looking for you. I'm not sure why, but I think she wants to trick you into saying something she can gossip about. Thanks for the heads up. I won't hide from her. I'll just talk with her and get it out of the way. Whatever she wants, it can't be that bad. Okay, but just to be safe, pretend that everything you're saying is being recorded. Be careful around her. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just hope it's over quickly, so I can hurry to the computer lab and put together a mixtape for Senpai. Hey, Osana. Come with me for a minute. Okay. I saw you talking to a boy from another school. Is he your boyfriend? What? Him? Uh, no way. That guy's a total creep. I wouldn't date him if he was the last man alive on Earth. He can go jump off a cliff for all I care. Yikes! I guess I lost that bet. Okay, how about that boy from Class 3-2? What do you think of him? Uh, oh, him? He's just my childhood friend. It's not like I like him or anything. Right. Seriously? Beethoven? Time to drag you into this century, senpai. Hey, you're right. This is pretty good. Told you so, Senpai. It's not going to replace Mozart anytime soon. But it's not bad at all. There's plenty more where that came from.
O... Osana? You... You kept me waiting, you dummy. Listen up, okay? Because I have something really important to say. What is it? You know, a lot of boys ask me to go out with them. But I always turn them down. It's not like I'm not interested in boys. I just didn't feel like dating anyone. Except for one person. Who? Someone who's always been there. Right next to me. Up until now, I always thought of you as just a childhood friend. No, I was just trying to tell myself that because I was afraid to admit my feelings. But I finally realized I can't keep lying to myself and lying to you. I have to be honest with my feelings. This is so embarrassing, but I can't stand just being friends anymore. Listen up, okay? Because it takes a lot of courage to say this. I... I love you, you idiot! I love you more than anything else in the world! To tell you the truth, Osana, I... I feel the same way about you. I don't get it. I should be so happy, but... I can't stop crying. You're... You're... You're being honest, right? Of course I am. I love you, Osana. I'm... I'm so happy. Please... Never leave me, you big dummy. No. Wait.